Hi friends, good evening and welcome to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends, in this video we can see a set of questions from previous question paper. That is 10 question we can see in this video. We will see the question one by one. The first question is from psychology. The question is who was the founder of experimental psychology? That is the question and the options are option A, William James. Option B, William Hunt. Option C, Wolfgang Kogler. Option D, Sigmund Freud. And we will see the answer. Who was the founder of experimental psychology? So, founder of experimental psychology is option B, William Hunt. He was the founder of experimental psychology. Another one important point regarding the William Hunt is in 1879, the year is very important, 1879, William Hund established the first psychology laboratory in Germany. Okay, in Germany, he established first psychology laboratory in the year 1879. Another one important point, Hund was the first psychologist to measure human behavior. Okay, and... Next option we can see Wolfgang Kogler. Kogler was introduced cognitive process of insight learning and Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud reduced psychoanalytical theory of personality development. So psychoanalytical theory of personality development by Sigmund Freud. Here our question is who was the founder of experimental psychology? It is option B. William Moon is the correct answer. Okay. And we will see the next question. The second question is intellectual quotient. That is IQ tells about. And the options are option A. Intellectual maturity. Option B. Mental age in relation to chronological age. Option C, academic achievement. Option D, mental growth. So here, intellectual quotient IQ tells about IQ tells about mental age in relation to chronological age. That is called IQ or intellectual quotient. So the formula we can see IQ equal to mental age. That is MA divided by chronological age into 100. That is called IQ. IQ means mental age divided by chronological age into 100. Okay. And so here our question, second question answer is option B, mental age in relation to chronological age is correct answer. Option B is correct. And next question, the third question, which of the following anti-tubercular drug is contraindicated in pregnancy? And the options are option A, streptomycin, option B, ethambutol, option C, rifampicin, option D, isoniazid. Here question is, among this, which anti-tubercular drug is contraindicated in pregnancy? That is the question. So answer is, option A, streptomycin is correct answer. The streptomycin which goes from mother to fetus and it affects the fetus and cause teratogenic effect. So it is not given during the time of pregnancy and one of the main birth effect of this uh, streptomycin is autotoxicity. Autotoxicity and teratogenic effect are the adverse effect of streptomycin so this is not given during the time of pregnancy the drug which is contraindicated during pregnancy is streptomycin okay another drug is there that is ethambutol rifampicin and isoniazid is there this ethambutol the adverse effect of this ethambutol is ocular ocular toxicity Okay, it affects the eye that is ocular toxicity and the reform basin which may cause red or orange color of urine. So, ethambutol cause ocular toxicity, reform basin cause red or orange color of urine and isoniazid cause peripheral neuritis. Okay, isoniazid the adverse effect is peripheral neuritis that is it affects the synthesis of vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is known as pyridoxin. So, the deficiency of this vitamin 
B6 cause neuritis that is the adverse effect of this isoniazid is peripheral neuritis okay and here our question is anti tubercular drug is contraindicated in pregnancy is streptomycin option A is correct answer fourth question delusion is a disorder of options are option a thought option b insight option c cognition option d orientation here question is delusion is coming under which abnormal behavior that is it is a thought disorder okay delusion is a disorder of thought option a is correct answer that is thought disorders or disorder of thought include acquistic thinking flight of ideas thought retardation circumstantiality tangentiality preservation thought blocking incoherence hypochondriasis delusion obsession phobia these are all are coming under disorder of thought okay disorder of thought here delusion is a disorder of thought delusion means the patient has false fixed belief so false fixed beliefs is called delusion okay it is a disorder of thought and the type of delusions include delusion of grandeur delusion of persecution delusion of guilt and nihilistic delusion okay so here delusion is a type of thought or delusion is a disorder of thought disorder okay option a is correct answer the next question fifth question when bleeding after 24 hours of delivery is considered as postpartum hemorrhage options are option a blood loss of more than 500 ml option b blood loss of more than 700 ml option c blood loss of more than 300 ml and option d blood loss of more than 200 ml a question is postpartum hemorrhage means that is the question so postpartum hemorrhage is usually occurs after 24 hours of delivery so here correct answer is option a blood loss of more than 500 ml that is the correct answer we will see the blood loss of normal delivery it is considered as 500 ml normal in normal delivery the normal blood loss is 500 ml and in cesarean section it is considered as 1000 ml is considered as normal okay in normal delivery 500 ml and cesarean section it is 1000 ml here our question is after that is postpartum hemorrhage bleeding after 24 hours of delivery is considered as postpartum hemorrhage that is blood loss more than 500 ml after 24 hours of delivery is considered as postpartum hemorrhage from our option okay and one of the most important causes of this postpartum hemorrhage is atonicity of the uterus this is an important point atonicity of the uterus is one of the most common cause of postpartum hemorrhage okay here option a is correct answer in our question the next question is b feeling is an essential features of the question is from sociology and the options we can see option a nationality group option b racial group option c primary group and option d secondary group so here question is b feeling is the essential features of primary group is the correct answer primary group means they are smaller in size and limited to small area okay the primary group members are mostly blood relative okay and they have close relationship with each other and they have face to face talk or direct talk and they have intimate and personal relationship with each other okay they have the we feeling they are us like feeling they have okay they are they are called primary group in case of the secondary group they are large group okay secondary groups are large group and they spread in most areas they have no close contact with each other like primary group that is interpersonal relationship or not that much interpersonal relationship or intimate relationship they do, do not have that uh, feelings okay and they are not having no we feeling mentality 
and they are also not having any interpersonal relationship with other group members okay they are coming and going for a particular purpose only they are not blood mostly they are not blood relatives okay they are these are all the characteristics features of secondary group here we feeling we feeling means the close contact or intimate contact or face to face talk or uh, interper good interpersonal relationship all are the characteristics features of primary group option c is correct answer in our question seventh question elevated specific gravity of urine can be seen in options are option a diabetic insipidus option b dehydration option c hypovolemia option d all of this our question is elevated specific gravity of urine is seen in here correct answer will come option b dehydration is the correct answer we will see the normal specific gravity of urine normal specific gravity of urine is 1.005 to 1.030 that is the normal specific gravity of urine when the specific gravity of urine is increases there is urine output will be decreased okay here in case of dehydration urine output will be decreased due to dehydration means due to diarrhea or due to less in of water or due to, in case of vomiting and all in our body there is water content is less so here urine uh, this specific gravity urine output will be decreased and the specific gravity will be increased and also another one condition that is s i ADH the full form is syndrome of inappropriate secretion of anti diuretic hormone in this case also the specific gravity of urine is elevated okay the elevated conditions include dehydration and syndrome of inappropriate secretion of anti diuretic hormone okay here urine output will be decreased and first option we can see diabetic insipidus in case of diabetic insipidus there is an increased urine output so the specific gravity will be decreased okay our question is elevated specific gravity is seen in case of dehydration among this dehydration is correct answer and we will see the next question Eighth question, which of the following is not a typical side effect of chemotherapy? Options include option A, nausea and vomiting, option B, hair loss, option C, fatigue and option D, tachycardia. Here our question is, which one is not a typical side effect of chemotherapy? That is the question. Among this option, option D is correct answer, tachycardia. Okay, tachycardia is not a typical side effect of chemotherapy. Remaining all, that is nausea and vomiting, hair loss, fatigue, all one of the typical hair loss of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is the treatment of, one of the treatment of cancer. Okay, in here answer option D. D. Next question, the ninth question, according to fruit, which of the following is not a part of subsystem or structure of personality options are option a eat option b ego option c oedipus complex option d super ego here question is according to sigmund fruit which of the following is not the part of subsystem of personality that is the question so here correct answer is option d option c oedipus complex is the correct answer according to fruit Oedipus complex is not the part of subsystem of personality. According to him, there are three part of subsystem of personality. They include it, ego, and superego. Are the three main subsystem of personality. Here, Oedipus complex is not included in the subsystem of personality. That is the correct answer. Next question. Tenth question. The outermost membrane of placenta is called option a amnion option b chorion option c yolk sac option d cotyledon question is which is the outermost membrane of the placenta here correct answer is option b chorion is the correct answer okay the outermost membrane of placenta is called chorion and the innermost membrane the innermost membrane of placenta is called 
amnion okay outermost is chorion and innermost is amnion and the yolk sac and cotyledons are the not the membrane of placenta here option b chorion is the correct answer